Hello everyone, this is Tyler with My Computer Works. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool trick. This trick allows you to bypass the signing in or creating a Microsoft account phase of the Windows 11 setup. Okay, so for example, I have my Windows 11 laptop right here. I'm currently resetting it to factory default so that I can show you how to do this. Okay. And so when I go through the Windows setup phase before I would have had to sign into a Microsoft account or create a Microsoft account to even be able to use the operating system. So before I even get in the computer and I'm able to do anything, they would have had me sign into or create a Microsoft account with the trick that I'm going to show you. You can bypass that, create a local account and make the whole setup process a lot easier. And for a lot of people out there, maybe you don't want to set up a Microsoft account or you don't want a Microsoft account connected to your profile on the computer. That's OK. So if that's what brought you here, let me show you this trick real quick and we'll bypass that Microsoft sign in altogether. OK, so here we are. My computer has just let me get that in frame there has just finished the reset. I'm here at the select language screen as if I just purchased the computer. OK, so we're going to continue in English. Uh, country or region, United States. Keyboard layout, US. No secondary keyboard layout. We'll skip that. And so here's the part where everything uh, changed, where, where we're going to activate this or do this, where the trick starts, I should say. And that is here at the select your network screen where you are going to hit shift and F10. OK, that shift and F10 together at the network selection screen. Once you hit that shift, plus F10. It's going to open a command prompt where we can type in the following command. Start MS dash CXH colon local only. OK, and once we hit enter on that, it's going to take us to this window where we can create our local account and bypass a lot of the uh, the setup process. And also, like I said, bypassing having to uh, create or sign into your Microsoft account if that's not something that you want to do. Thank you for watching this video. This information is also on bleepingcomputer.com. If you want to go check out their blog on the website, definitely do so. It gives a little bit more info. I'll have a link for that down in the description for this video. And while you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe. If you're having any issues with your technology, please reach out to my computer works. We'd be happy to help. It's what we do. We help people just like you with their technology, not only repairing it or fixing it if need be, but also teaching you how to use it. See you on the next one, everyone. Thanks for watching.